Welcome to my series on advanced computer science principles. My name is Raymond Schenk. I'm a retired Navy pilot and I work as a public school teacher in Georgia. And this is my video series for those students who are in my AP Computer Science Principles class. Um, at my school, we teach the Harvard CS50 AP curriculum. And this video series is a series of my lectures which will cover material that will enable you to be successful uh, in that course. So pay attention to these videos because they're very good background. A lot of this is the material that I cover in my actual lectures in class. And it's a lot of the things that we'll be using in labs. But if you are new to computer science principles, if you're a parent or someone that just wants to learn more about how computers work and the fundamentals of being a computer programmer, this is also a good video series for you. We start this course with the assumption that you know nothing about computers. Um, in, in my classes, we build on the Introduction to Digital Technology course, which is another uh, playlist on this channel that you can go through. So this would really be the second course in my pathway. And it, I teach this at the college level which means I expect students to understand what I'm covering in these presentations and then to actually go and explore uh, more in depth on their own until they really have a good grip on what it is that we're talking about in each video. So this series will move a little bit faster than my IDT series did, um, but I want you to understand that it's because we're now operating and executing at a college level and so I expect students to be able to do some of their own research and to play around with the, the uh, topics as we go through them. The other thing is I'm going to have two playlists for this course. The first one is the playlist that's going to cover a lot of the concepts, a lot of the theory behind what we're doing and then I'm going to have my first playlist which is language specific because we start this course in the language C. We use regular ANSI C. In fact, we use the CS50 IDE, which is an online integrated development environment that's very useful. And actually, by the spring semester, I will have my second language series up on Python. And again, both of those video series will be very, very fundamental and basics to walk a student into the language. Um, but then the expectation is uh, that they will go beyond what I'm presenting and really dive into the language and try other things that I just don't have the time to cover in these videos. So that's where we're headed. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is a very uh, enjoyable course. We cover a lot of really cool stuff. So let's kick it off and I will see you on the other side. 